Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventures of Well I'm me and today for Gamer Day we're going to be talking about World of Final Fantasy Maxima for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is the second time I've tried recording this video because before when I was recording uh, my neighbours decided that they were going to have a raging party and make lots of noise which was getting picked up in my camera despite the fact they're on a different property. Like it's it's it was so loud. The music was pumped that loud and they were screaming and yelling and it was just hard to make a video. Uh, but now that I'm here to actually uh, talk about this, uh, World of Final Fantasy, I've got it both on the Switch and on the PlayStation 4. Uh, I prefer it on the Switch because the way the game's designed, it, it really does uh, benefit from the portability of the Switch. It is essentially Pokemon, but within the Final Fantasy universe. So you get a whole lot of different characters and monsters uh, from Final Fantasy um, that you essentially collect and end up battling in turn-based kind of combat uh, with weaknesses and whatnot, uh, strengths, weaknesses. Yeah, so essentially it is really just a... Uh, a Pokemon Final Fantasy type game. Uh, it it was lots of fun. I uh, <laughs> I really, really like when I when I got this, I sat and this is all I was playing uh, until I beat the game. Uh, there's still like a Colosseum thing that I haven't beaten, but it it's one of those games that I literally just sat down and enjoyed so much, both playing it on the TV and picking it up and playing it in bed or playing it on the go, like it was just one of those games, it just reminded me of like that sensation of Pokemon back in the day, like Pokemon uh, Red and Blue, uh, back when I was, you know, a wee little lad, um, and that's why I think it was better on the Switch, sure you, your frame rates or uh, the, the actual overall graphic uh, graphics of the game might not look as good as when you've got it on you know, your PlayStation and whatnot, but I think, I, I, I often think that's overrated. Uh, a lot of the time, like frame rate and all that, I game a lot at 30 frames per second. I, I don't see a huge deal with it having to be 60 or 120 frames. Um, I don't have a 1440p setup for games. Um, it's, it's just, I, I, I'll play, you know, 1080 for the most part for a lot of games. Try and upscale it to that if I can, just so it fits on the screen better. <laughs> um, and I, I have a 4K TV, but not everything that's running into it is running at a 4K resolution. So I often think that graphics are overrated, and that's why I think it doesn't matter being on the Switch if it's got a bit of a slowdown and all that. It's still fun. So the Switch does heat up a lot while playing this game though. Uh, but I waited a while before I picked this up, both on the PlayStation 4 and obviously uh, waiting for this because uh, this was announced after they had a whole lot of different Final Fantasy games that they said that were coming to the Switch. Um, and this is a special physical copy that you could get imported. Uh, essentially it's like the Asia region, uh, like Oceania region game. Uh, so the case is all in English, uh, which is nice because otherwise you import a lot of games and they've got full Japanese cases and it looks a little bit odd on the shelf when you've got all the English games and then you've got like one or two Japanese uh, cases. Uh, a game that I can think of that I actually have that is just a Japanese case is actually another Final Fantasy game. It's the Chocobo Mystery... Mystery? Ch Chocobo Dungeon... Uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Whatever it is, the Chocobo game that's on the Switch. Um, I imported that uh, as a physical copy. Plays in English. It's all subtitled in English. Perfectly fine. No issues with that. It's just that the case is in Japanese. Um, and I think that's where it's kind of funny because a lot of these games, when you do purchase them, you you buy the Switch cartridge, when you put it into the Switch and you 
select the game, it just defaults to the language of the profile. Um, a lot of them are multi-region uh, games that just automatically convert. Uh, the digital games, not always, because I've got a few games that I purchased um, and happened to just test out loading on one of my other region profiles that I have on the Switch, and they didn't automatically translate. So that I find interesting. Not all the digital ones have worked for me, but the physical copies seem to, as soon as you put it in, it just region translates. So that was kind of good that you could do that with this uh, special edition, I guess. Um, I mean, it's got eight languages. As I just drop it everywhere. It's got eight languages uh, on it already, but I do like that you can import Switch games and just plug them, <laughs> put them into the Switch, and it works uh, without issue in terms of translating between regions. Um, the PlayStation 4, although it's region free in terms of the games that you can buy, same with like the PlayStation 3, like when you have these region free games that you can play across, like from on the consoles, as I throw this again, <laughs> um, they don't translate automatically. When I went to Japan, I picked up a Sword Art Online game because we were watching Sword Art Online at the time, and it's in Japanese. Uh, so it plays on my PlayStation 3 console, but it is all Japanese. Um, whereas at least the Switch, you plug it in, English. I, I, I like that. It, it makes getting games from around the world and being able to play them properly an easy thing. Uh, and that's something that at least Final Fantasy has been able to do. Uh, I don't really have much else to say at the moment. Um, I kind of, because I had already recorded half a video when my neighbours kind of started, I kind of don't know what to say now anymore. Um, <laughs> I mainly was already saying about like Pokemon and how it's very similar to that and I think that's a good thing but I think it's also important to note that importing games is quite easy for the Nintendo Switch and that is uh, essentially what you experience when you purchased uh, a copy of this for the Switch. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm going to finish this before I throw this game anymore because I don't want to destroy it because I absolutely love the game. Uh, but yeah, have a great day and I'll catch you next time.